everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the 12th episode of Mawaru Penguin Drum. And last episode, like most episodes, it seemed pretty crazy, especially with some like uh, reveals near the end. Kan uh, Shoma talking about how Kamba and him are like responsible for Ringo's sister's death, like from 16 years ago when they were like barely alive, like. I, it's a pretty crazy stuff to just kind of bring up like that, but uh, I'm very curious exactly what that means, and I, hopefully we can get into that in this episode. We also have some stuff that made it very clear that Kamba and Natsume had some uh, has have some history together. You know, in case a previous episode hadn't convinced you of that. But yeah, let's jump into this episode and see exactly what new information we're uh, we're gonna get, and see if if we can make more sense of more things. So let's jump on in. Three, two, one, play. <laughs> a great line to start us off with. Not, not an easy question to answer. Those rabbits look, uh... Hey, penguins! <laughs> wow, just, just like everywhere. <laughs> and yeah, we got an apple. <laughs> A Ringo, if you will. Okay, that's how we start the episode. <laughs> Very interesting stuff. It's crazy that this is only like the twelfth episode. <laughs> For some reason, it feels like I've watched like twenty five episodes of the show. So we got Kamba here. I was gonna say by himself, but then then they showed a penguin. Does it smell okay? Oh my god, what did you find? Ma Maharaja Edoi. Very Edoi. He's got the good stuff over there. Are they ignoring you, despite being the one that called you? Oh, that... that voice. Ugh. Ugh. Why would you say that? That didn't... didn't tell me anything! Uh, well, now you got him all worried, and you got me all worried, and... Uh, what's that, like the worst kind of prank call? One that gives you ominous bad news. Okay, we finally made it back over here. Yeah, but you really need to elaborate on that. Right, an accident. 
Okay, that 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 adds to the w weirdness. Like, why would they? Why? Now I definitely want some clarification. Well, that's good. I mean, we're talking about multiple people, many people dying, that's kind of like referring to like a, a crash, you know. Or an explosion, I guess. Or both. Somebody please pick that up. I assume that's a ringing, phone ringing sound because it... Not necessarily. Let's initiate the survival strategy. That sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, he just looks like he's up to no good. Uh... Is this piece involved killing people? I suppose he's even training his moment cup, he learned everyone off. <laughs> May just be for your benefits. Little book. <laughs> How horrible. <laughs> Some quite a megaphone animation there. I'm glad you can understand that. Multiple locations, damn. So yeah, making it very clear something's going down. Something big. There's some kind of cult action it looks like. Yeah. I mean, this is a flashback, so we more or less know the overall outcome, but... Yeah, that's definitely smoke. Multiple. I refuse to believe Momoka's dead. Well, she was reincarnated as someone else, if you believe what that person says, so... I hear a baby who's not aware of the tragedy around her. She's adorable, though. What a twist. I mean, denial is a, usually a pretty common thing in these situations. Because it is just...
<laughs> wow, read the room, sheesh. No. I'm an anime protagonist in particular. <laughs> what? Can you run that by me again? Something about the dark rabbits of... You okay? I mean, I know the phone calls are something about Himari dying again, but... Derail. Quite the choice of words. Find it? Stop him. Is that refers to the, the one guy Himari met in the library? I forget his name. Or the character with the other penguin hat. <laughs> There's that. I'm not even sure what that is that's on the apple. Like, it almost looks like a clock, sort of, but... I was born that. Well, damn, that was a scene. That's not working. Out of context, that's kind of a silly line. Yeah, we really don't want to go through this again, losing Himari. Now, after everything we've done, crimes committed, get her back. <laughs> really, we're doing the kimono spin thing. <laughs> why, why are we doing this, Himari? Uh, why are you being weird? I mean, I guess. We shouldn't waste food, though. Of course. <laughs> I think you asked the one, one impossible thing. <laughs> A great humor. I mean, she is great. I don't, I don't deny that. What are you two doing? Can we use Korea for that instead? Well, I guess that did not work out for you. That's turned that sort of thing. <sighs> All this bouncing around is kind of getting me whiplash. The hat. <laughs> the hat's not working. Probably the only show where you really hear that line in, at all. Okay. Don't only male sheep have the horns? I don't know. Penguin just like hanging off.
I can do it pretty well. There's a tree. And now... Yeah, finally showing up. I mean... Oh, bunnies. I don't trust them. <laughs> I do this hat for the penguin. Are we just gonna force a hat on her and hope for the best? Taboos are meant to be broken. I really just don't trust you bunnies one bit. Right. I don't blame Mary. Pat, do your thing, please. I think I saw a little something. Oh, this doesn't look good at all. <laughs> well, I mean, we can give more, right? Don't say that! I still don't really know what that means. Yeah, I mean... You only have one first kiss. Scorpion soul. Okay, I guess we're doing this. Oh, yes, ma'am. Uh, just this, what is even happening right now? I thought she was supposed to be happy. Did the black bunny lie to me? Yeah. 
I mean, if nobody would get upset, they wouldn't be called taboo. Uh, just gonna shove it back in. <laughs> What are we doing here? This guy just shows up. Oh, those are those the bunnies? What was this episode? I think this episode was weird by the show standards. I didn't we just have a whole thing between Kamba and her about what the he was trying to... I don't know. She like reached in and grabbed his... The heart energy thingy. I thought... I thought we were doing a thing to get her better. But we didn't. I... I And why did he show up? What's that about? Like, he's a bad guy, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure she said not to trust the bunnies. I don't remember the exact line, but there was some quick bit about two, about black bunnies of darkness or whatever. Just, which I'm pretty sure the two girls next to him were representing that. And the bunnies were clearly like the, you know, kind of like the the snake, you know, in that one story about the forbidden fruit and all that. There is a lot to process with this episode. Yeah, I don't really want to accept it either. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I hope you don't give up. Hopefully, nobody. Hopefully, nobody gives up. But uh, yeah, that 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 was the twelfth episode of Mawaru Penguin Drum. Okay, so we got our explanation about the whole past thing, why Shoma and Kamba thinks it's their fault that uh, Ringo's sister died, right? Apparently their parents were involved in some kind of cult organization that uh, were the ones behind the incident that got her killed, right? So I guess I get that to an extent. But still, I mean, that would be the, their parents' fault, not their fault. But anyway, at least we have that uh, puzzle piece, which is good. But uh, we also had a lot of a lot of other stuff happened in the episode. I'm not even sure really where to start. Uh, Himari 
you know, collapsed. She talked a little bit about bl Black Buddies of Darkness, you know, or, or whatever, which was an interesting thing to suddenly bring up, but they were relevant to the episode, right? They were in the, the story and also at the end, at question mark. But, uh, yeah, that th that was a thing. But also we have Kama getting some mysterious phone call from, I assume, the same guy that shows up at the end of the episode, whose name I should probably remember. But, um, yeah, about Himari dying again. And uh, Himari did die again in the episode. Like, it's, it's such a weird thing. In any, any kind of show that has some sort of, like, resurrection as a part of the plot, it does kind of muddle the waters a little bit like, about how to feel when a character, you know, dies. Like, because in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, okay, I mean, we'll probably get something figured out to get her back, you know? Like, I know the attempt that Kanba did in the episode didn't work, but, like... Who really knows, you know, what, what how things are going to go. At least we got the answer to what the... Because back in episode one, we had, you know, Himari shove her hand in a combo and, like, pull something out. And, you know, that, that must have been the first initial offering that powered her soul that they referenced in the episode. But, yeah, I guess the second attempt to do it didn't work. I mean, she she said as much, like, you know, about the first kiss and how... And, and all that stuff. So I guess I shouldn't have been as surprised as I was that it didn't... That didn't work. Uh, the scene itself was actually kind of hot. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, but uh, it didn't work though, which is the worst thing about it. But throughout all of this, we also had like a story kind of like sprinkled throughout, you know, a Mer the Mary Three Lambs sort of story. And I've, you know, I, I do sort of a Mary had a little lamb, you know, like I, I there's like a song or something that I kind of know. You know, Mary had a little lamb, fleece was white as white as snow, something like that. It's been a very long time since I've ever heard that, but anyway, so I'm sort of sort of familiar with Mary in that in that regard. But in this story, we had the three lambs, which were clearly a representation of Kanba, Shoma, and and um, Himari, right? And then we had Mary herself. I'm not sure who that was supposed to be, honestly. I think they were like a faded out person, but basically, they had the three children, but they also had the the magical apple tree, which just died. One day, and then we had two evil black bunnies pop up, whispering, you know, ideas into Mary's head about going to go get the goddess's torch ashes and sprinkling it over the tree and making it all better, even though it's taboo and you shouldn't do that and it would piss off the goddess. But the one bunny said, nah, nah, the bunny, will, the, the goddess will be happy, it'll be fine. And the goddess wasn't. In fact, the goddess, goddess was so upset that she killed one of the one of the, the the sheep as punishment. Not just any sheep, but the cutest, nicest, most gentle, lovable one out of the bunch. Why? Because apparently proper punishments are the most unjust one, you know? So apparently, you know, screw the idea of, you know, punishment, level of punishment, level of crime matching each other. Just you do something wrong, whatever the worst possible punishment is, you just do that, I guess is how the, how the logic works there. But... It really was horrible that they added in the, the cabbage scene <laughs> because, like, I already knew Himari was great, right? She, she's a lot of fun, adorable, cute, likable character, but the cabbage scene, like, it, it was it was top tier in that regard, like, really showcasing how adorable and lovable she is. Like, I thoroughly enjoyed that scene and the fact that they chose a habit in the same episode where she dies again, dick move. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. It really was. But, so yeah, I'm not really sure exactly how that Mary story ties in with our characters. I mean, obviously, the the sheep that looked like Himari died and Himari died, obviously that's a match there. But, but beyond that, I don't quite get the full significance of the story relevance to our story, really. Also, Penguin number three died, you know, I guess showcasing that the penguins are connected to the three siblings on a soul level. Well, like they're Piccolo and Kami or something. I don't know. There's so much I don't know with this show, but that's really nothing different and nothing new. But there was just something, something really unsettling about the, uh, you know, the fantastical environment during the survival strategy meetings being, like, powered down. It's such a cool visual metaphor, though, for, like, the state of Himari or the hat, you know? Like being like barely functional like you know the machine was like a like a slight blip you know like where she's sort of there but like hanging on by a thread that could snap that will snap any second you know being there but like on a backup reserve of power like just the visual of it really did a good job showcasing the, the, the state that they're in right it was good in that sense but also just very 
it feels very wrong seeing it like that because it's supposed to be so amazing and amazing and flashy and stylish and cool and it was like barely there but that's the idea so <sighs> so yeah and like I said we had the one you could just show up at the very end there with his two bunny humanoid bunny girls okay I guess at his side. I don't know what he's there for. Like, she already did essentially died and can't make anything, can't make things worse. And I assume this is a bad guy, but I don't even know that for sure. I just, I assume this is the person that <clears throat> she's against, but I don't know. How much do we even know about this character? Like, he showed up in episode 9, you know, with the Himari stuff, and I think that was kind of the extent of it. So hopefully maybe we can get a little, a little bit more explanation on exactly what his deal is in this scene, right? But the fact is, with the characters that I'm pretty sure are supposed to represent the two black bunnies, and they're the ones that drove Mary, you know, to the dark side, you know, getting the ashes and all that. So they're clearly not good, good guys, right? And they're with him. So you, I don't know. I try to make sense of this. And I'm doing a terrible job of it. I, I know, but Whew, but man, that scene between Himari and Kamba, Jesus, <clears throat> it was good. It was good. It was sad that it didn't work, but it was, it was good for what it was. Uh, so yeah, that was the episode. You know, I had a silly kind of idea when I was, I was, I was, as I was watching it, because we had back in the flashback Tabuki talking about how he doesn't accept that. You know that uh, Momoka is that her name? The, the sister died, right? He was obviously in denial and all that. So, and we do have a press, uh, some sort of precedent for. Resur you know, somewhat resurrecting characters. So I was kind of wondering if we would actually do something with Momoka in that regard, because they did kind of, well, Ringo kind of thought of herself as a reincarnation of her and all that, so reincarnation can also be a thing, really, even if it might not necessarily be Ringo, that's the one. And uh, where's the one part in the episode? And there's like, you know, talk about escaping that fate that binds you and all that, and I don't know. This idea that I had... Because, you know, because Momo could die and could be considered a part of fate and all that. But and I don't know what extent the supernatural stuff in this show can extend to. But I mean, I'm not saying that's like, the, like a solid theory that I'm like, you know, going to jump on. But it's just something that kind of came to mind. You know, but uh, I don't think you really have anything else to say about the episode. It was it was a hard one to watch. It was a confusing one to watch. You know, we had Himari die again. I don't know if. Or, you know, what we can do about that. Like, if we if we get the penguin drum, you know, can we, you know, what can we make happen if we can still get it back? Just so many questions I have. I don't know what's possible and what's not. So, as a result, I'm not sure what to think or feel about certain things. But we're not at, we're not at a good point right now. This is, this is the real takeaway. But... I mean, it was a good episode. It was, it was tragic, but it was good for what it was. And we're like, we got so many episodes left to go. I mean, they can't just like leave him already dead, right? But yeah. So that was the episode. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.